Tonight, a leading opponent of gay marriage, of gays and lesbians adopting kids, and equal rights for gay people in general is now entangled in a sex scandal. George Rakers helped found the socially conservative Family Research Council. He's accused of hiring a male escort who advertises on an explicit website and also of taking him on a sexually charged European vacation. For the record, Rakers denies the sexual part. The allegations were first reported in Miami's New Times, a local alternative newspaper. Tonight, Randy Kay talks to the young man who was hired by Mr. Rakers. Tonight, he's speaking for the first time on camera. He calls himself Lucian. He's a paid male escort who says he only advertises his services on the website rentboy.com, where visitors can select among hundreds of male escorts who advertise in suggestive and revealing poses. That website is where Lucian says he was first contacted by George Rakers, a professor and Baptist minister who has weighed in on almost every piece of anti-gay legislation around the country. What's not in dispute is that Rakers and Lucian just returned from a two-week European vacation and that Lucian was hired to help with the bags. This photo was snapped at Miami International Airport. But Lucian also says for the trip to Madrid and London, he was to give Rakers what Lucian called sexual massages every day. He basically got excited. That was the whole case. So he wanted you to touch him? Well, yeah. Did you have sex with him on the trip? No. Did he ask sex. to? Not at all. Lucian showed me the contract he signed with Rakers. For $75 a day, it says he must carry the bags, provide a massage for at least one hour every day of the trip in their shared room. Plus, spend at least eight hours a day with him, including two meals. On Raker's website, a very different account of how he met Lucien. By interviewing different people who might be able to help, and did not even find out about his travel assistant's internet advertisements offering prostitution activity until after the trip was in progress. There was nothing inappropriate with this relationship. And he emphasized he was not involved in any illegal or sexual behavior with his travel assistant. Rakers is a board member for NARTH, the National Association for Research and Therapy of Homosexuality, a group that says it helps people with, quote, unwanted homosexual attractions. He's also the co-founder of the Family Research Council, which promotes the traditional family unit. And in 2008, here in Florida, George Raker served as an expert witness in a case to uphold the law banning gays and lesbians from adopting. In his writings, he called gays a, quote, deviant segment of society. The state of Florida paid him about $120,000 for his testimony. Attorney General Bill McCollum's office told us Rakers was recommended after an exhaustive search and because he had, quote, exceptional credentials. Wayne Besson is with Truth Wins Out, a group that exposes what it sees as hypocrisy in the anti-gay movement. He has helped create anti-gay attitudes and justify discrimination across the country. It seems Rackers doesn't think gay people should raise boys, they think he should rent boys. So I, I think uh, he's quite the hypocrite there. Lucian says Rakers knew he was gay before the trip because he had told him about his boyfriends. Does he still deny to you that he's gay? Yeah, yeah. You know, I actually asked him uh, over the phone, you know, do you think you're gay? And he just said no. Lucian told me Rakers had asked him not to share his story with the media. He just didn't want me to mention the massage aspect, you know. That's what it and really was. And he asked was. you not to? Yeah, he had asked me not to. In response to the publicity, NARTH, where Rakers is a board member, released this statement saying, it takes seriously the accusations that have been made. In response to an email from CNN, Rakers wrote, I am retaining the services of a defamation attorney in this matter because the fact is, I am not gay and never have been. Lucian, meanwhile, says he feels sorry for Rakers. He enjoyed their European vacation together and would like to be his friend. He wants him to stop making anti-gay statements. Randy Kay, CNN, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. One final note, the Family Research Council, which George Rakers helped found, released a statement today distancing themselves from him. In fact, they say they had to check their historical records to verify that he was, in fact, a member of the original board. And they went on to say, in part, FRC has had no contact with Dr. Rakers or knowledge of his activities in over a decade. So FRC can provide no further insight into these allegations. And they added, while we are extremely disappointed when any Christian leader engages in the very activities that they preach against, it is not surprising. The scriptures clearly teach the fallen nature of all people, 
We each have a choice to act upon that nature or, or accept the forgiveness offered by the grace through faith in Jesus Christ. Well, just ahead tonight.